It doesn't have to necessarily be uh, an HR outsourcing service. You can do these things on your own. ChatGPT is huge. They can help you with any types of paperwork that you need to have filled out or um, they can help you really in any way. The, the possibilities are endless. So I highly recommend if you don't can, cannot necessarily you're not in the right spot to afford a budget for an HR service, do not just not have it. You got to just put in a little manpower versus the monetary. OK. All right. So is there any questions um, that you may have? I think that was the next slide. Yep. Is there any questions that you have for me? I hope I wasn't boring. <laughs> no, so, you know, you know how HR is sometimes. Yeah. So. Yes. Oh, we have a question. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Following you. Insane. high-functioning autism, there are people in senior positions in management that, one, may, might not have the support to be able to do well in their, in their work because of those um, neurodivergent challenges, yes. but they might not know how to manage their employees who do have those challenges. Yes. And so I was wondering, does your, your company um, have that kind of service, or is there, I'm also wondering what the ecosystem looks like here in Las Vegas, if there are neurodivergent programs that support that here. Actually, no. I actually would love to connect. <laughs> yes. Um, she's, she's right. There is. I think that's the reason why with for me, I, I went into the, the sound healing uh, more of so because you can't. Thank you. And the reason why I, I did that was because uh, what I have seen over the years of me doing the leadership and team development trainings was that a lot of people didn't know how to express that they were going through something. They didn't know how to, okay, yes, I'm here, I'm okay, but I'm not okay. And then the next thing you know, you get a, res you get a resignation letter two days later. So we want to be preventative and proactive. I love what you're doing. And yes, I do want to connect with you. I would love to set up a meeting. That's Yes. And there's no support for them. Or yes. Barely, or just like, and so, yeah, and there's a lot of stigma too. And it is. Like it is. I, yes. We're, we're definitely going to connect. Um, so I, I appreciate that. But yes, this is where we are as business owners. We have to be proactive in this as well. We have to pay attention to not only just the business, not only just our employees, not only just the consumers. We got to pay attention to our, our employees' body language. What's their verbal cues? What are their nonverbal cues? Are they, what are their stressors? What is their personality type? Is, are they uh, um, an eagle type of person where they're go-getter driven or are they more of an owl where they're more reserved and task oriented? We have to pay attention to those things. So I, um, I do, um, I could go on and on and on. <laughs> I really can't, but I do want to respect the time and I appreciate you all so much for taking the time for me to be able to give you a little bit of information. And if you have any questions, I will be around. Okay. Thank you.